Hello everybody, Beth here. I have a really quick tutorial on how to use Postbot, which is Postman's AI helper, to visualize your response body data. So if you have an API request and that response comes back and it's a big JSON string with um, an array with lots of different bits of information in, that might not always be super helpful to you or your teams uh, to kind of take that information on board. So Postman has this really great feature called Visualizer, but it's so tricky to configure and there's quite a lot of code involved um, that I was really pleased when I saw that they'd um, incorporated the Postbot uh, to help with these visualizations. So now it's super easy to get this stuff yourself. So to show you how this is done, I have uh, the Mailinator API. Um, there is some, there is a public Postman collection uh, for Mailinator that you can use if you want to, to see this yourself. Um, so what this does is return a inbox and returns all of the emails that are within that inbox. So to have a look at what I mean, here's this response data and there's a ton of different inf bits of information in here isn't that digestible but what we can do if we go over to our test tab we can take a look at the post bot which is just right down here at the bottom of the screen the little purple icon if you want to write test scripts you can use this help post bot helper here but we're going to use it for visualizing so we're going to click the one at the bottom and we are going to click the visualize response so i am I'm, I'm getting information here that I think would look best in a table, um, but you can also choose a line chart or a bar graph, um, whatever you think suits your data best, or have a play around. Uh, so we're gonna use this as a table. So we just click that like we would a snippet, and you can see that this has embedded the um, information that we need into our test tab. Um, and if we click on the body, it's already opened at the visualize tab. Um, so we can then see all of our lovely information is in a much more digestible format that we can then export. We can save this as an example and we can go ahead and use this. So I hope this helps. Um, and I hope you can use this visualizer uh, in your own work to, to help you. Okay. Thanks so much. Take care till next time. Bye.